What's up guys, it's Sunny Game Hunter today. I'm um, heading over to my buddy Greg's store. He said he picked up some more horror titles, so I'm going to come by and take a look. This morning I picked up this baby, this beautiful baby, for $10. Oh, somebody, uh, the guy just messaged me back <laughs> literally while I was doing that. I'm sorry, Paul is talking about potential more games he has for me, so that's awesome. Um, it's just disc and artwork, um, so that sucks. No manual or no bonus disc, but... The disc is in great shape. The case is rough, but I can swap it out. The artwork's in good shape. Paid 10 bucks for it. It's an absolute steal. Um, I'm going to head over to my buddy's store, and the guy just messaged me. He said he's got more games in a storage unit. He said he collected a lot of... He played and collected a lot of the fighter games. He said... Uh, the, way, the way he put it, he said fighter games, sports games, and Def Jam games. So if he's got Def Jam fight for New York, I'll give $10 for that all day, too. Um, hopefully the rest of his stuff is complete though. That'd be pretty nice. We're going to head over to my buddy's store and see what he has. Stay tuned for more, guys. What's up, guys? Great to show a couple things I picked up today. Well, this was actually picked up Thursday off of Chris from Video, Coll Video Game Collectors of America. Did some trade and picked up Clock Tower. Pretty clean copy. Only flaw. This is pretty clean. Only flaw is a little damage to the stipple right there, but super clean copy. Now Clock Tower 1 and 3. Obviously need 2. Picked these three up off Austin Morgan to complete some boxes I had. Fire Red. Zelda Four Swords. The reason I get such a deal on this one is that's damage right there. It's untested. Doubt it's going to work. But if it does, awesome. If not, still 25 for a Fire Red isn't bad. And Yu Gi Oh! The Eternal Duel of Soul. I have all those boxes, so going to complete those, which is pretty nice. Um, I think that's it for today. I may pick up uh, a <laughs> really cool R2D2 fridge. I may pick up some more stuff over the next day or two. Obviously, I'll show you. So stay tuned for more, guys. What is up, guys? I'm Sonic Game Hunter today with a huge score. There's Jax right there. Say hi, Jax. A huge score and once again, another huge lesson in demo. So I always say, whether you're at a sale, whether you're buying games online, always, always, always ask if they have any more. So our girl had a Xbox, original Xbox lot, posted with some games for 50 bucks. Most of the games weren't the best, and I don't really need a console, and it's hard to move Xbox consoles, so I <coughs> <coughs> apologize, guys. It's faster if I could buy some of the games. I did three games for 10. All these are complete. Suffering, Morrowind, and Ninja Garden Black, they're all complete. So after that, I asked her, hey, do you have anything else? And as you can see, she definitely did. So I paid 10 for this, and 130 for all of this. Let's go over some of the titles. Most of them are complete, a couple are missing manuals. Paper Mario solid, well, missed. Animal Crossing solid. Smash solid, Mario Party solid, nice smash. Pokemon XD, Tales of Symphonia, Harvest Moon, Godzilla, some solid titles there. There's a GameCube with three controllers, two PSPs, some more titles up here. Men, NBA, and Hot Shots. Dirt 2, Star Wars, Sid Meier's, God of War, 300. Generation of Chaos, Chinatown Wars, Undercover, Got a War, Spongebob, Steam Boy, it's a movie, but it's sealed. Resident Evil, which is cool, I didn't have that Resident Evil. So definitely, definitely, definitely a hell of a deal for 140 for all this, so. Absolute steal, guys. Like I said, always, 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 always ask if they have more. So tune for more, guys. What's up guys? Sorry for the poor lighting. It's pretty dark in here, but not too dark. And I don't want to turn the lights, I'm about to get to bed. Because I'm going to wait at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Stuff I picked up today. Got GameStop, gave me this. It's the Dead or Alive 6 Steelbook. No cost, so pretty cool. Pick this up for $2. I'll trade in for 11 Help pay off my uh, Days Gone Clutch Edition. I picked up all these pops. All of them I picked up for retail. Actually, that was discounted to 14 
was 12, that was 9, and that was 9. So pretty solid pop day. I'm um, going to the flea market tomorrow, so I should have a lot more videos. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? It's Insane Gaminer. It's the next clip after the. <laughs> I'm tired. It's the next day after the clip I just showed. Um, I was trying to go to bed early because I knew I had to be up super early for today. End up not falling asleep till about 11. After about 1:30, I woke up having to use the restroom, and I never fell back asleep. So I played it. I'll be the show until now. As you can see right there, it's 3:47. Heading over to meet up with YouTube famous Anthony now. Um, him and uh, Navajo. And we're going to head on over to White's Flea Market in Indiana. Um, I've only been there one time. I went out last year. Um, there's a video of it. So if you've been around the channel for a while, chances are you've probably seen it. Um, last year, they go out on a regular basis. I normally work Wednesdays. Uh, it's a Wednesday flea market. But uh, last year when we went out there... There was a Def Jam fight for New York. It was found for like $2 a complete box. Right underneath my palms. I picked up a stack of PS2 games. I was looking through them and literally the game under the cutoff point of what I picked up was Def Jam fight for New York. So Austin picked that up but he gave me a good deal on it. Um, an Xbox One S with a bunch of games for 100 bucks, and that was a year ago so that was even more impressive. Wow, people, they're braids. Um, there was a bunch of really good finds last year at this time, and it seems like they have a lot of really good finds when they head out there. Uh, it's a about an hour drive, a little over an hour, and it's a rural flea market. As you, or maybe even in your areas, the more out of the city you go, the earlier everything starts. Um, so we'll get out there probably about five-ish, and there'll be people setting up at that point in time. Uh, the flea markets out here, you can realistically get there like six and people are setting up at that time. So shows you the difference there. But uh, I'll try to record a little bit on the way there just so you can see what it's like. It's kind of boring, but so you can see a little bit about the trip and then get as much footage at the market as possible. Stay tuned, guys. He was out here early last time too and... So I'm not going to lie, guys, I didn't record much because White's kind of sucked today. Uh, seen basically no video games. It was actually a decent toy day, but I didn't feel like recording for the toys because I'm a game hunting channel, but I do want to show what I did pick up, though. I uh, picked up Joker on card, two bucks. The Spawn figure on card for two bucks. These two original Aliens toys for two bucks. Picked up this alien figure for a dollar. Picked up these pops for 10 bucks. Picked up that Katina Showdown for five bucks. And picked up, honestly, the thing I'm most excited for for the day, Dustin and Steve for five bucks. So, well, no, now I'm lying. That's what I'm most excited for. Um, Anthony picked that up for 20 bucks and he was going to keep it for himself. So I had to give him a please don't keep it for, him, for yourself price. So I gave him. Uh, he owed me 15 so I gave him 20 and called us even on the 15 so basically 35 um, like I said I had to give him a price that would make him get rid of it since he didn't want to get rid of it and it was absolutely sick so I'm excited to pick that up so yeah definitely the highlight of the day then the pops and the rest is kind of eh stuff so and there's another spawn figure too for 2 bucks so not too bad when it comes to cost but not the best pickups but uh it's like 9 o'clock. I'm going to go to sleep. When I wake up, I may go to a couple ponds or thrifts. So Pretty sad. Pick game. up today. Picked up this stack of games. Paid 20 bucks. Pretty solid for the stack. Um, a couple of them alone I'll make my money back on. So pretty good value there. Stay tuned for more, guys. What is up, guys? Cincinnati Game Hunter today. Showing some more pickups. Uh, first of all, I went a couple places, but uh, just kind of want to rant for a split second. So I went to Valley Thrift, the one that's by me. They had Vector Man complete in box on SNES. And it was 35 It's an $18 game. And they had Pack Attack complete in box on SNES, which is like a $20 game. And they had it marked at like 49 And then they had a GBA with a crap game marked at $69.99. Um, they had a 
Game Boy Color with a crap game marked at fifty nine nine. Like it's it's so outrageous to think that it's a thrift store. You get this stuff on donation. I know you got to keep the doors open and make some money, but to double retail. And it's been that way for a while now. The only way you can kind of find something there is honestly if you catch them slipping. So it's sad, but uh, it's kind of the point we're at now. But went to pawn store I used to work at. See my buddy John who always hooks me up. Got all this, and I paid 22 extra tax, 24 tax, 18 items. I mean, 16 items. So it's like dollar and some less than a quarter a piece. So. Guillermo del T I always but butcher this. Guillermo del Toro. Don't be afraid of the dark. I haven't seen it, but I love his movie, so I'll check it out. Alien Covenant. Um, really good movie. I have an Alien box set, but it doesn't go as relevant as new as this. I did actually really enjoy him. Um, if you didn't know and you're a fan of the Alien series, this is basically Alien 1, I believe. So, normally I don't buy many DVDs anymore, but this is a sick edition. So, 28 Days Later, widescreen special edition. Cool little check mark there. Um, it's got three alternate endings, and I've never seen the alternate endings. This is one of my favorite, favorite movies. If you're a Walking Dead fan, <laughs> watch this movie. This So, this movie, Walking Dead stole its like, most iconic scene, like when uh, Rick wakes up and he walks down the hallway... He sees the dead inside, and he's in the hospital, and he woke up to the zombie apocalypse. Guess who did it in... Where's the year? 2003. This movie. The Walking Dead stole it. So, yeah, there's that. The Dark Knight Trilogy. You just cleaned up a little dirty on the front. But I love box sets, and I love the Dark Knight movies. And I picked all these up to sell. The House of Cards series, season 1 through 4. Three of them are sealed. The one's open, so I'm assuming the person who got it started watching season one, didn't like it, and just didn't watch the rest of them. Now on to the games. Rainbow Six Siege Gold Edition, which is such a fun game, honestly. Far Cry 5, another really fun game. Assassin's Creed Origins, another really fun game. I'm going to be trying to pick up an Xbox again. I had a 1X. I've said it multiple times, my TV had issues reading the 4K, so I got rid of it, but since I'm probably going to get one back, I figured I'd pick some games up that I want to play. Gears of War 4, love the game. Borderlands The Handsome Collection, love it. Gears of War and Rare Replay, I mean, you can't beat it to have the Gears of War Ultimate Edition and Rare Replay. The Combo Pack, I didn't check to see if they were both in here, and they are awesome. I love playing Black Ops 2 on uh, the uh, backwards compatibility. And Forza Motorsports 7. So all that for 20 bucks is a hell of a deal. So that's an awesome way to start the day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing too much hunting today. It is my birthday. i got a couple plans. So I don't know if I'm going to be too much hunting. But if I do, I'll record it for you guys. Stay tuned.